Gaius is an ugly, disgusting loser who decided to reincarnate as a boy to level up more and extend his limit. His new name is Matthias. While traveling with the merchant, he could sense an enemy nearby, and his feelings were right. A huge tiger appeared, and Matthias defeated it. Then he arrived in the capital, and he went into a store. He hears an adventurer asking for help on her broken sword, and that she needed a sword for the entrance exam to the magic school. The blacksmith said that the sword's enchantment is difficult to create. Matthias then offered to help the girl with casting an enchantment on her sword, and the blacksmith said that he will fail to create an enchantment with his weak crest. The girl accepted Matthias' help. He then met Alma, and introduced himself as Matthias Holdeshine. Then Alma thanked Matthias, and he got blushy. Unexpectedly, Alma's friend Luri arrived, and Matthias right away liked the pretty girl. Luri also immediately fell for Matthias, and talking to him made her uneasy. Later, the blacksmith delivered the fixed sword, and Matthias began putting a spell on Lurie's sword. So the magic sword surprised everyone, because it's usually harder to cast spells. Lurie got her new sword, and she accidentally sliced through the table with it. The man who made swords was impressed at how fast Matthias used magic on the sword. He couldn't believe Matthias just used a regular spell to put magic in the sword. However, the swordsmith thought that Matthias wanted to be an enchanter, and he respected. Matthias followed. We see Matthias taking the magic school entrance exams. He met his crush Lurie again, and also almost showed up too. After that, the exam started, and Lurie managed to cut the examiner's sword. So Lurie managed to defeat the examiner, and she passed the test. Lurie then thanked Matthias for enchanting her sword. Suddenly, he was called to this fight. Then a knight appeared. His father's friend had heard about Matthias's magic powers, so they started to get ready for their fight against each other. Matthias saw a chance to beat him. Matthias attacked the knight. The knight was surprised by how good Matthias was with the sword. Matthias beat Gil, the leader of the knights. The two girls were glad Matthias won. Later, they had to use magic. Luri used fire magic to hit targets. Matthias was surprised that people use spells now. He thought magic without words would be stronger. So Luri managed to pass the test with her crest of glory, and Matthias was aware that his crest is considered the weakest in his new life. That Matthias had to hit the targets, but the teacher underestimated him because he had the weakest crest. However, Matthias used powerful magic. He could use wordless magic, so he shot dangerous fireballs with his magic, and he destroyed the entire practice field. Matthias and his friends were admitted to the magic school, and they met the headmaster, Edward. Edward welcomed the students to the second magic school and wished the students every success in their studies. After his short speech, Matthias was suddenly asked into his office. Matthias was nervous, and he thought he would get a penalty for the destroyed practice field. Edward was aware of Matthias' strong powers, that he didn't have to recite the spells like the other students. As a result, Matthias was asked if he could teach teachers and students to use wordless magic. Matthias was willing to help Edward, but they had a problem with the first royal academy. They are a school full of nobles, and they have banned the use of wordless magic because they consider it weak. Then Edward said that he would like to teach wordless magic to the second school with the help of Matthias. As a result, they could lift the ban and revive wordless magic in their world. Then they asked Matthias if he wanted to help Edward with his idea. So Matthias said yes to help the principal, and everyone was glad. During the next few days, magic classes started. The teacher said that Matthias would teach the students magic without words. Then Matthias jumped up and cast a spell without saying words. Right away, he broke three targets with his no-words magic. Next, teacher Geyser showed he could also use no words magic now and he busted a target with fire magic. He said that everyone can learn magic without words like Matthias does. The students then learned magic without words and Alma showed him how she uses magic without words. Then he also looked at Luri's progress. She was out of energy, but she was fascinated by the wordless magic. Meanwhile, Matthias wondered why the wordless magic was forgotten. Then Matthias wanted to transfer some magic to Luri and she received new energy. Luri got new energy and she was also available to cast wordless magic. A few months passed and the the first school had a battle tournament against the first Royal Academy. Matthias learned that the Royal Academy has students who are referred to as magical chosen ones. Suddenly, Matthias sensed a person with ten times more magic power than he did. He learned that demons cannot be conquered by humans. Then Matthias went to the battlefield, and he was surprised that the demons survived. Also, the noble students from the first Royal Academy looked down on Matthias. They said that Matthias is weak and will lose. He could sense that his arrogant opponent was a demon, and he got angry. However, the fight started, and Matthias instantly defeated them with wordless magic spells. The demon got angry, and Matthias noticed that he could also use wordless magic. Matthias attacked the demon and tried to decapitate him. Then his opponent dodged, and they fought each other. Matthias understood why. The world has changed now. Therefore, Matthias proved that his opponent is a demon and he found out his genuine form. The demon tried to escape, and he attacked Matthias. Then the demon desired to fly away, 
but Matthias managed to kill the demon with his sword. Then we see Gaius solidify a reincarnation spell. Thousand years later, he became reborn as a son of the Hildesheim circle of relatives. Following, we see the present again, and Luri became glad that Matthias was capable of defeating the demon. Later, Matthias becomes taken aback to examine that no humans have been able to defeat a demon in the final hundred years. Then he had an audience with the king, and he brought himself as Matthias Hildesheim to the king. The king desired to reward Matthias with a chunk of land. However, he did not want the this kind of reward, he simply wanted to get more potent, and the king offered to offer him a magic sword with two enchantments as a reward. Matthias immediately noticed that he recently enchanted the offered sword at the blacksmith days before. As a result, the king noticed Matthias's reaction, and he asked what Matthias would like to have. However, Matthias asked permission to explore a dungeon, and he would like to have the right to keep the materials found in the dungeon. Matthias knew about the rare items in the dungeon, and he feared the current age was unaware of the treasures within. The king allowed Matthias to explore the dungeon dungeon and keep the materials he found. Matthias learned that the magical chosen ones of the kingdom are all gone for now. In addition, the king had a suspicion that demons had been infiltrating the people for centuries. Matthias became surprised by means of the records, due to the fact in his preceding lifestyles as Gaius, he had nearly wiped out all demons. Then the king discovered that there was remarkable risk from the demons. Also Matthias knows that the demons will not attack individually, and he believes that they'll assault the kingdom as a massive institution. Following Matthias recommended a technique to defend the kingdom, he informed the king that everyone they must do is create a barrier. As a result, one can stop the demons. After that, he was given permission to freely use the king's magic items. Matthias searched for beneficial gadgets for developing the barrier. Suddenly, Matthias observed one among his swords made in his preceding life as Gaius. He was surprised to locate one of his antique auric Elchum swords. Then he determined some other object from his previous existence. He changed into a powerful necklace. In the days that observed, Matthias supported the opposite college students in getting to know wordless magic. Everyone made speed progress and his pals knew approximately the barrier. After that, Matthias wanted to discover a dungeon. He asked Alma and Luri in the event that they wanted to form a party with him. They desired a birthday party with him, however they have been afraid that they could be a burden to Matthias. Matthias said they may no longer be a burden, and he showed Alm the way to solid magic arrows. Alm became inspired and Matthias encouraged her. As a result, Alm accepted to form a party with him, and Luri also wanted to go to the dungeon with her crush Matthias in. Additionally, Matthias learned that she would like to use enchantment magic, so Luri was already looking forward to their time together as a party. Matthias' new party was formed, and they decided to seek out the dangerous dungeon. Then we see Matthias and his friends in the dungeon. Suddenly he wanted to show them something, and he showed the two girls a dungeon monster. Matthias had the idea of using the monster as a target. Then Alma tried to fill her arrow with magic. She successfully managed to infuse magical power into her arrows. Alma was happy and Matthias gave her more advice. She immediately tried to follow his advice, and shot an arrow. The magic arrow changed direction while flying and hit another monster. Then Alma went off to fight against monsters in the dungeon. Luri then wanted to learn more about enchantment from Matthias, but Matthias said it was still too difficult, so he wanted to teach her the basics of enchantment magic first. Matthias wanted to teach her to produce her own weapons first. Suddenly, Matthias destroyed a wall with his magic. He explained to Luri that the whole dungeon consists of valuable resources. Then he explained to Luri the process of creating a weapon. Luri was happy to learn from Matthias and thanked him. Meanwhile, Alma diligently practiced using magic on her arrows, she could now defeat multiple monsters with just one attack. Then she discovered Alma. She managed to make her own weapons now. She then made new equipment for Alma, and her friend was grateful for the new equipment. Then Matthias wanted to reach the 10th floor of the dungeon, so they were going deeper into the dungeon. Suddenly, a bunch of monsters appeared. Luri and Alma fought against them, so they managed to defeat the monsters with ease. On the further way, more and more monsters appeared, and Luri supported Alma in the fight. Matthias' party leveled up quickly, and the necklace from his previous life doubled their experience points in the dungeon. Suddenly, a killer dog appeared. Matthias said that he is very dangerous. Then they fought the killer dog, and they successfully defeated him together. Matthias was impressed by the two cute girls, and he praised them. Then Matthias created a safe zone, and he summoned the barrier. The girls were supposed to take a break, and were protected by Matthias's barrier. He then wanted to go down to the 25th floor alone. Then Matthias made his way into the deeper floors of the dungeon. On his way down, he gathered useful resources, and he sensed a dungeon boss at a deeper floor. Following this, Matthias jumped deeper into the dungeon, and he immediately encountered many monsters. With his overwhelming power, he defeated the enemy monsters. After that, he located the dungeon boss. He was attacked by him. The dungeon boss appeared, and Matthias fought the giant art serpent. 
The giant serpent could decompose the ground with his own poison, but Matthias wasn't afraid. He was finally happy to fight a strong monster with his newly acquired crest. He then tested his combat specialized crest against the dungeon boss. Matthias wanted to enjoy the fight, and he tried new techniques in the fight against the dungeon boss. Then Matthias used his sword, and he slashed the serpent. He didn't die, and Matthias shattered a magic stone, and he combined it with his sword. Then he attacked the snake with a final blow, and he caused an earthquake. Then we see demons who also sensed the huge magic explosion in the dungeon. After that, Matthias returned to floor 10, and he showed the girls his defeated dungeon boss. In the afternoon, Matthias and his group visited the Adventurers Guild. The other adventurers looked at them very angry. They learned that many students of the second magic academy were taking their quests. Matthias then said that he wanted to sell monsters to the guild, so he opened a portal, and the receptionist was shocked at the defeated dungeon boss that Matthias showed her. Afterwards, the receptionist learned that Matthias could use a storage spell. Then he pulled out a giant magic stone, and a receptionist said the stone could qualify as a national treasure. Suddenly, Matthias said he was displeased by the small size of the magic stone. Also, the receptionist didn't know if the guild could pay enough money for the high-value goods. Later, Matthias' group got 750 gold coins as their reward, and he wanted to share the money with the two girls. On the way to the academy, Matthias sensed the aura of some demons, so we see two demons. They found out about the rumors of Matthias being a demon slayer. However, Matthias wanted to defeat the strongest demon, and he trusted that the two girls would fight against the weaker one. Matthias then started the fight against them. Matthias tried to attack one of the demons, and his attack was repelled. The demons wanted to avenge their comrade, so the demons tried to attack Matthias, but Matthias managed to stop the fire spell, and he reflected it back to Lord Ashral. They were impressed by Matthias' power and Matthias was casting more spells. Then Matthias lured the demons into a trap and they were hit with magic arrows that disrupted their flow of magic. As a result, the two demons split up by fighting Matthias' group. Lord Ashral prepared a powerful spell to wipe out Matthias. Suddenly, Matthias used a spirit ball, and he stopped the opponent's attack. The demon underestimated Matthias, and he failed to hit Matthias with his attacks. Matthias countered, and he was able to severely injure Lord Ashral on his back. Suddenly, the demon tried to escape, but he was paralyzed. Lord Ashral was pushed back, and he tried to lure Matthias into a trap. Matthias immediately reacted, and he managed to escape. His magic circle followed. Matthias was fighting against the demon, and he showed him some powerful sword skills. Suddenly, he cast a magic spell that injured the demon. Matthias then watched the demon getting weaker, so he got the chance to defeat him. Then he killed one of the demons with ease. Meanwhile, Alma and Luri fought together against the weaker demon. They managed to get some time, and Matthias got ready to kill the second demon. Then Matthias used a very powerful magic spell called Light of Death that kills a demon right away. The demon got scared and tried to run away, but Alma shot some special arrows that Luri made at its wings. This stopped the demon from escaping because the arrows broke its wings. Matthias attacked the demon and beat him too, so both demons lost their lives. Matthias and his girls worked together to win against them. All at once, Matthias' group got lots of attention. He didn't want to cause trouble, so he decided to leave with his friends. Then Matthias jumped back to school carrying the girls. The next day, Matthias and his girls were invited to the king. They were praised by the king for their heroic deeds. However, Matthias asked if he could get access to all dungeons as his reward. The king immediately agreed to his request. Then Alma and Luri were asked what they wanted as a reward. Alma asked for money and Luri said the same. So the king laughed and he accepted their wish. Suddenly, Matthias felt the magic of a demon who was spying on them. An enemy demon was using magic to spy on the king. Matthias was able to stop the spell of the demon, and he managed to injure the enemy. Edward and the king were shocked to be spied on. Matthias then says that he is able to locate the demon's whereabouts. Matthias suggested countermeasures because he wanted to go hunting the demons. Unfortunately, the distance was too far away. Matthias said his teleportation magic is useless and Principal Edward was shocked that Matthias was able to cast teleportation magic. Afterwards, Matthias said that they will find a solution for their problem at the top of the mountain. They then arrived at the top of the mountain and Matthias wanted to talk with a giant dark dragon. So the girls were shocked that he wanted to talk to a dangerous dragon. Matthias knew the dark dragon Iris from his previous life because he defeated the dragon 1000 years ago. Then Matthias was threatened by Iris. Matthias couldn't believe that Iris didn't recognize him. Suddenly, Iris prepared a powerful fire attack against Matthias. However, Matthias simply negated her spell and Iris was shot. She couldn't believe a human could stop her spell so easily. Matthias replied that he is Gaius's reincarnation and Iris immediately apologized for her rude behavior. Matthias said that he didn't want to kill her. Instead, he wanted Iris to help them. Additionally, 
Iris learned that Matthias had now received the crest of failure. Matthias then told the two girls that they can come closer to learn about the dragon. Suddenly, Iris told him about her destroyed wings and that she can't fly now. Matthias learned that after his reincarnation, humans caused many magic reactors to explode. So all mankind was sent back to the Stone Age. Then Matthias healed Iris's wings and she thanked him. After that, Iris met Luri and Alma. They were shocked that Iris spoke the human language. Later, Matthias' group flew to the demon hide on the back of Iris. Iris was happy to help Matthias and she wanted to fly with full speed ahead. Matthias stopped Iris because the two girls would die at her top speed. In addition, Matthias learned that his life as Gaius was becoming a legend. After that, Iris flew to the demon's location at normal speed. Thereafter, we see Matthias who immediately killed the demon guard with ease. The girls and Dragon Iris were relieved that Matthias was on their side. So Matthias observed the hiding location of some demons and you could feel that one of the demons was especially strong. Suddenly, Iris failed her landing, and he or she crashed into the house. As a result, Alma and Luri had been knocked out through the failed touchdown. Next we see Matthias. He used telepathy to speak with Alma and Luri. Additionally, he gave Luri a magic circle, and he told them both to prepare an assault plan. Matthias stated that he believes that they both can deal with the offense in their assault plan, so they each met regularly, and that they were going to discover the demons in the abandoned house. They did not find any demons within the house, but Maisha sensed that the enemies were hiding the concealment spell. Following this, Luri concentrated and she changed into able to tune down a demon. After that, Matthias informed them to prepare for his or her attack. Matthias solidified a spell and he dissolved the concealment spell. Then Alma aimed at the demon. The enemy didn't realize that his spell was no longer working, so the demon was attacked by Alma with a magic arrow and she hit the demon with a headshot. The demon got angry and he looked down at Matthias. The demon thought Matthias was a scammer because he thought Matthias was still in the capital. Matthias couldn't believe how stupid the demon in front of them was. Suddenly, Matthias was attacked and he communicated to Alma and Luri to prepare their attack against the demon. Matthias fended off the demon's attacks and the Enya was attacked by the two girls with arrows. So they repeated their attack strategy, but the arrogant demon looked down on weak humans. The demon then wanted to finish them, but his body slowed down due to the magic arrows. Luri used a poison spell, and she was able to infuse the arrowheads with strong poison. The demon was very angry, and he showed his final form, which powered him up. After his transformation, Matthias explained the current situation to the girls. They were shocked by the demon's trump card. The demon was on steroids and he intended to attack the girls. So the girls ran away and the demon attacked an illusion. Then the demon learned that the illusion spell was combined with a poison spell. The demon was immobilized and Alma headshot the demon with her arrow. Matthias congratulated the two girls for their victory and he said that they should go back to Iris. However, Matthias decided to fight. The strongest one alone followed. He used magic stones and destroyed them into fine dust. As a result of the method he used, Matthias managed to force a fog demon to manifest in his body. Suddenly, a demon appeared who was surprised by Maisha's abilities. He said he heard rumors about Matthias. All demons knew that Matthias is a monster that is very strong for a human. However, the demon looked down on Matthias. He said he is stronger than the previous demons. The demon then attacked Matthias and managed to push Matthias back. Suddenly, the demon cut off Matthias' arm with his powerful wind magic. Matthias had lost an arm and the demon wanted to end their fight. Then Matthias healed his injured body and his arm was healed. The demon then tried to kill Matthias, but he dodged all attacks with ease. After that, the demon was poisoned and he was angry. The demon wanted to use his last trick. So he tried to turn into a powerful monster, but Matthias stopped the change with a spell to make it not work. Then the demon got mad and cast a fog spell that was meant to beat Matthias. Matthias cancelled the demon's magic again. Now the demon was trapped by Matthias' magic. Matthias said his sword didn't have poison. Instead he used a spell to take away magic power. Finally, Matthias did a big attack that caused a huge explosion. Luri was really worried about Matthias. Later, we see Matthias standing in front of Big Crystal. Right away, Luri gave him a hug. She was happy that Matthias is unhurt and healthy. Luri and Alma also showed up too. She congratulated him for his win, and she asked about the giant crystal. So Matthias replied that the crystal is a dragon vein which conduits magic power. The girls learned that the demons plan to use the dragon veins to summon an army of 5,000 monsters. They plan to attack the capital with a monster army. Then Matthias said that they can defeat the monsters and they need the support of the other students. On the way back to school, Iris asked what she should do now. Matthias asked if she would like to join his group. Iris loved the idea and she wanted to turn into a human. Then with a spell, Iris turned into a human without clothes. She stood naked in front of Matthias, so Luri and Alma tried to cover his eyes in the evening. Arriving in the academy, they handed over the demon horns to Edward. He was surprised that Matthias could travel halfway around the world in just two days. Matthias then introduced Iris to the principal, so Edward allowed Iris to join 
join the Magic Academy as an exchange student. Before that, Iris had to pass the same entrance exam as Matthias. Then he immediately worried that Iris would destroy the whole school if he didn't watch over her. So Matthias hoped that Iris would pass the entrance exam. Then Matthias and the girls were on their way to the bedrooms. Suddenly, Matthias was holding Iris's hand and he created a fake crest for her so she wouldn't stand out. After that, the girls wished Iris good luck for tomorrow. The next day, the written exam started, and Iris immediately was doing nonsense. Edward was concerned that Iris would fail to pass the entrance exam. In the second trial, Iris had to fight against the night leader Gil. Matthias couldn't remember the man, and Lurie told him that he had fought him at the entrance exam. Then the fight started, and Iris was very clumsy. She immediately lost her sword. Suddenly, Jill started to attacking, and Iris simply stopped the sword with just her hand. Gil was shocked by Iris' enormous strength. Iris then tried to counterattack, and Matthias managed to protect Gil with a barrier in time. Edward couldn't believe that Iris should be an ordinary girl, so Gil was defeated and the next trial started. Following this, Iris concentrated and tried to control her powerful magic. Iris totally fails, and Matthias creates a barrier in time. Iris said sorry to them, and she tried to hit the targets again. She couldn't manage to hit the targets. Finally, she used another spell, and Matthias used a strong barrier for protection. Iris destroyed the whole field, and everyone was shocked by her fearsome power. As a result, half of the school was destroyed, and she passed the entrance exams. In the following days, we see Matthias. He was looking at the material mining of their barrier in a cave. Then Edward told him that they need more people with the Crest of Glory. He intended to ask the First Academy for support. In the afternoon, the principal of the First Royal Academy showed up. The principal of the First Academy wanted to refuse to cooperate with them. Edward then said that they had more important things to do than fight. Also, Edward said that they won against the First Academy. In the last tournament, the principal of the First Royal Academy didn't accept their defeat because a demon was causing trouble. So Maisha suggested to the principal that they should repeat the competition. The principal of the First Academy accepted the proposal. Matthias accepted the conditions and they wanted to repeat the competition in two days. Two days later, all students with the Crest of Glory from the First Academy showed up. The principal of the First Academy was sure that his students would easily win against Edward's school. Then Matthias' classmates showed up. They only wanted to send five students into the fight. The fight then started, and they were instantly defeated by wordless magic. The First Academy didn't stand a chance against the Second Academy, and they won immediately. Suddenly, the principal of the Second Academy got angry. He said they were cheating, so he demanded that the students should fight against Iris. He thought Iris was weak, so Matthias gave her a sword for the fight. The principal of the first academy checked the sword. Suddenly, Iris accidentally destroyed the sword, and she was called a monster. After that, Edward complained that the first academy still refused to teach wordless magic to the students. Suddenly, the king appeared and punished the principal of the second academy. The students were then entrusted to the care of the second academy, and they were to learn magic together. Later, Matthias and his friends went to the dungeon, and Matthias planned to collect valuable materials for their barrier. Then Matthias said that they have to defeat strong monsters to collect a big magic stone. Suddenly, Iris was afraid that Matthias wanted to sacrifice her for a magic stone. Matthias said he has no intention of sacrifice. Harris followed. Alma and Lurie fought against strong wolves. They made great progress and managed to defeat high-level monsters with ease. Meanwhile, Matthias was worried about Iris because she still didn't have her powers under control. So we see Iris, who almost accidentally murdered Matthias with her sword. After defeating the monsters on the 17th floor, they went deeper into the dungeon, arrived on the next floor. Matthias wanted to summon a monster with a magic stone. Lurie should create a magic circle with her crest of glory. Then Matthias supported behind her and shot his load. As a result, Lurie managed to create a strong magic circle. After that, Iris should slowly pour some of her magic into the magic stone. Iris overdoes it and Matthias tries to stop her. Suddenly, Iris set even more magic into the magic stone. Then the dungeon floor collapsed and Matthias asked why she hadn't slowly transferred her magic into the stone. Iris said a well-known person taught her what slowly means. Suddenly, Matthias realized that he was causing the misunderstanding in his previous life as Gaius. Then, a huge dragon appeared. He wanted to kill Misha's group. Matthias ordered Iris to attack the dragon, but her attack was blocked. Iris should provoke and insult the dragon. The dragon got angry and Iris became a lure. Following this, Lurie enchanted an arrow and Alma shot the dragon with one of her attacks. The dragon didn't weaken and Matthias prepared an attack strategy. Suddenly, the dragon sighted the two girls and they froze in fear. Matthias said that Iris should protect the two girls. Iris immediately attacked the dragon and the dragon was pushed back. Then Iris fought against the dragon and she was briefly distracted. Iris was then stomped into the ground. Then the dragon tried to use his fire breath, but Matthias' group prevented the attack. 
So all the girls fought the dragon. They were able to get Matthias some time, and he told Iris to lure the dragon into his trap. Then Matthias activated his spell. He wanted to activate a very powerful spell that would kill the dragon instantly. Suddenly, Iris tripped, and Matthias immediately ran to protect Iris. Matthias managed to create a barrier in time, and his final attack was a great success. Following this, Iris retrieved the drop dragon's magic stone. After that, they returned to the academy, and they destroyed the whole area during their training. Matthias then created a training plan for the girls. Then Iris had to learn to control her dragon power as a human. Iris tried to dodge Alna's arrows in their training field with a monster on her head. Unfortunately, the training was very difficult. But Iris didn't give up. However, Matthias wanted to teach Luri new enchantment skills. After that, Matthias told her about eight new different enchantment spells. She was overwhelmed, and Matthias just tried to teach her the new enchantment. Matthias then gave her advice on how to cast the new spells. Luri liked Matthias' idea of creating a sword with eight different enchantments. Then Matthias taught her the eightfold enchantment, and she learned it right away. Later, Luri could create a sword with strong enchantments, and Matthias was proud of her. Meanwhile, Iris tried to better control her powers, and Matthias Matthias said that Luri made new weapons for everyone, so we see the three girls testing out their newly made weapons. The weapons were overpowered, and she could destroy a huge rock with ease. As a result, Iris tried out her new weapon too, and she almost destroyed the whole school. Again, the girls were shocked by Iris' dragon power. Then Matthias wanted to try his new sword too, so Matthias trained with his friends during a fight. Several weeks passed, and Edward wanted to conjure up the protective barrier of their town with the students. Meanwhile, someone was reporting to Matthias that the communications team could sense unusual demon activities. Matthias still had to make preparations for their protective barrier, so Matthias asked if Luri and Alma could handle the problems that followed. Then we see Luri and Alma going into the forest. Suddenly, they spotted a magical energy floating in the sky. Then Luri looked at a magic stone. She remembered Matthias' advice. Matthias told her to create magic arrows out of magic stones. In addition, Luri should decide for herself which enchantment spell she uses. Matthias firmly believed that Luri knew how to create the perfect enchantment. Then Luri produced new arrows for Alma, and she thanked Luri. Suddenly, a demon appeared from the portal, and Alma instantly defeated him. So the first demon died, and another demon followed him out of the portal. He managed to survive Alma's attack, so Luri showed off her sword skills. Luri and Alma defeated two demons, and the magic portal disappeared. Afterwards, Matthias praised his two girls for their great work. In addition, he explained to them that the demons are also preparing an attack. After their talk, Iris showed up. She had gotten a large load of mithril. Then we see Edward. He was already expecting the two girls as support in the fight. Suddenly a magical portal was opened, and a demon appeared. The demon looked down on the humans, and he immediately attacked them with a powerful spell. The students managed to fend off the attack with a barrier. The demon was angry and couldn't believe that the students didn't die. Then the demon was attacked by the students. Alma shoots an arrow at him, but he easily deflects her attack. Meanwhile, Luri was very tired, enchanting the arrows, and she needed more time. Alma wanted to get some more time. The demon prepared a powerful spell. Suddenly he attacked with a fire spell, and the students defended themselves. Then we see Luri failing to create a strong arrow. She only had one try left to produce a powerful arrow. Everyone encouraged her and Luri successfully managed to create a powerful arrow. Alma then took the chance and attacked the demon. The arrogant demon dodged the attack, so Alma changed the arrow's flight direction. Alma managed to severely injure the demon. Then the other students immediately attacked the demon. Edgeward and the students managed to defeat the strong demon together. Suddenly, another demon appeared and he attacked them all. Then a bunch more demons appeared, and they surrounded the students. Luri was desperate and Alma trusted that Matthias would show up in time. The demons looked down on the humans, but Matthias appeared out of nowhere. The demons were afraid of Matthias. Matthias said that now he will defeat them all. This is how Matthias launched his attacks, and he killed a whole group of demons instantly. The leader of the demon group was angry. He activated his power up. Then Matthias fought all demons, and he managed to wipe out all demons with ease. Matthias successfully killed all the demons, and his friends were happy that he saved them in time. After the fight, Matthias told them about the preparation of their barrier. He then went to the others in the cave, and he put a magic stone into a huge crystal. The crystal glowed and Matthias created a strong protective barrier that encased the whole town. Later, Matthias told his friends that the real fun begins now. He said that the dragon veen would be activated soon, so thousands of monsters would appear towards their town. Then we see Edgeward and the students getting ready for the monster hunt. After that, strong monsters appeared, and the sorcerers attacked all the monsters with strong 
strong spells. Matthias had prepared traps against the monsters, and many monsters were quickly wiped out with the students' support. Suddenly, a second wave of monsters appeared. Matthias said his group is now taking over the fight. Then Matthias just threw Iris against a strong golem. The golem immediately fell over, and Omen defeated a golem too. Then Matthias sensed a strong monster followed. We see a monster who absorbed the other monsters. Matthias told the girls that a Void Eater is getting ready for battle. However, all the monsters were absorbed by the Void Eater. Matthias wanted Luri to make a magic stone for them. Then Luri and Matthias threw magic stones against the Void Eater. After that, the Void Eater grew in size and manifested into a giant monster. The girls hid behind Matthias, but he was looking forward to their victory. Then they started the fight, and Matthias was happy with his chance to fight against a strong monster. Matthias used his crest of failure power, and he attacked the Void Eater. His attack was a success but the Void Eater's legs regenerated immediately. So Matthias kept attacking, and he used a lot of magic stones to perform powerful attacks with his sword. Then Matthias summoned more spells, and he combined them with his sword attacks. Matthias managed to bring the Void Eater to his knees. Then he used his finisher move, and he chopped the huge monster into small pieces. Matthias was able to successfully defeat the monster. He then praised his girls for their great teamwork. The whole kingdom and the students were happy that they survived the battle. Suddenly, Matthias was deep in thought, saying that he would like to explore more dungeons. The next day, Matthias told Edward that he wanted to leave school to research the dragon veins. Edward then offered him a special scholarship because he wanted to continue supporting Matthias. Matthias accepted his offer, and Lurie was sad that Matthias wanted to leave them. Suddenly, Edward also offered the other three girls a special scholarship. The girls immediately accepted the offer because they wanted to continue traveling with Matthias. Matthias later thanked Edward for his big help all the time. Then Matthias and his girls said goodbye, and they started their new adventure journey together. In the following days, we see Matthias' group on their way to the next city, and a boy wished them good luck as adventurers. Matthias told the girls that they want to explore the Dokiel dungeon. Iris didn't know the city, and Luri said that it is known as a dungeon city. Matthias was surprised. In his old life, nobody would dare to settle a city above a dangerous dungeon. Suddenly, Matthias said that they will take a shortcut through the forest. Luri and Alma couldn't believe that Matthias decided to go into the dangerous forest full of evil monsters. So the two girls were terribly afraid, but Matthias was looking forward to fighting the monsters. Then they went into the forest, and Iris said that she will protect them both. Suddenly, Matthias noticed that they hadn't encountered any monsters yet and Iris was hungry, so they decided to take a break, and Matthias wanted to go hunting for food. Matthias started running immediately, and he wanted to explore the forest. In the forest, Matthias sensed many monsters, and he concentrated to find the leader of the monster group. Later, Matthias appeared with a giant whisk monkey that startled the two girls. Alma and Luri said that whisk monkeys are very intelligent and dangerous monsters. Matthias then unpacked his hunted prey, and showed the girls a huge wild boar. The wild boar looked delicious, and Matthias explained to the girls that the wild boar is very tasty. Luri then made cooking pots, and Iris wanted to chop firewood. When Iris got enough firewood, Alma caused an explosion. She used normal fire magic, but the cooking pot exploded. Iris was scared about Alma's cooking skills. She protected their food, and Matthias was surprised that she couldn't cook. Then Matthias cooked delicious wild boar meat, and the girls loved Matthias' dish. After the delicious meat, Alma wanted to serve soup. Matthias and Luri didn't trust Alma's cooking skills, but Iris wanted to try her soup. Iris then drank the soup, and she regretted tasting Alma's soup. After lunch, Matthias wanted to go further through the forest, and he said that no monster would attack them. The girls learned that the monsters are afraid of Iris's dragon ore. In the evening, they reached their destination, the dungeon town Melchia, and they saw many people were injured. Munchia sensed that the lantern is connected to a dragon vein. Suddenly, they were warned that the lantern might explode. As a result, the lantern exploded and Macia's group was unharmed. They later learned that the actual lord of the city forced them to use the dangerous lanterns. Luri was shocked, and Matthias asked about the city's poor living conditions. He learned that their lord had forced most of the residents to fight against a monster on the 10th floor of the dungeon. So many were injured or died. Matthias' group couldn't believe that the Lord was treating people like garbage. Then they went to the guild to get permission to explore the dungeon. The guild worker advised Matthias against asking for permission, because in exchange, they will be the Lord's lapdogs. Matthias learned that he controls everything. Also, his orders are dangerous and absurd. But Matthias decided to apply for four permits. Suddenly, an adventurer who can cast healing magic was asked for. Matthias said he can heal the injured. He then saw many injured adventurers in the church. The adventurers were almost dying dying and Matthias learned that the new lord was causing the trouble, so Matthias decided that he will save everyone. He gave out numbers to classify them all according to their injuries. When Matthias wanted to heal the patients, a priest appeared. He didn't believe a child could save the injured, 
and he said, it's not a game. He looked down on Matthias for having the crest of failure followed. Matthias proves that his crest of failure is perfect for healing. He immediately healed the man's injuries and the man thanked Matthias. The priest was shocked and they trusted Matthias. Then together they began to heal all the injured adventurers. As a result, Matthias group and the priests worked together. A few hours later, all adventurers were saved and the priest apologized to Matthias for his rudeness. He was impressed by Matthias because Matthias performed a miracle by rescuing all the adventurers. This is how the priest thanked Matthias. Suddenly, Matthias asked about their actual lord. Matthias then learned that the previous lord of the city died of an unknown disease. As a result, a new lord appeared that brought the whole city to ruin. Matthias had a hunch that the demons were to blame for the city's worst situation. After that, Matthias' group stayed in a hostel and Matthias' group wanted to help the city. Matthias then told Lurie and Alma that he was sending a secret letter to Edward and that he would report the problems to the king. Additionally, he wanted to explore the dungeon to find out more about the dragon vine. After that, they all slept peacefully, except for Lurie. She was nervous about sleeping in the same room with Matthias. Meanwhile, Matthias was also nervous about sleeping next to his crush, Lurie. Suddenly, Iris and Alma started talking together in their sleep. Matthias and Lurie both got even more nervous and somehow tried to fall asleep. The next day, they wanted to explore the dungeons, but Lurie and Matthias couldn't sleep because they were so nervous. Then Matthias stood in front of the dungeon gate and Matthias discovered that the dungeon gate was manipulated. In the afternoon, Matthias brought a giant dungeon monster head to the guild. The receptionist was shocked and Matthias said that the monster was defeated by his girls. Then the women said that the guild can accept it for now, but she has to report to the lord about their defeated monster. Matthias secretly looked at the report to the lord and the women write that Matthias is a weak healer. After that we see the lord. He was surprised that a group of adventurers could defeat strong monsters. Later, Matthias' group went out for dinner and they celebrated their successful day. After dinner, Matthias noticed a bunch of men spying on his group. Matthias lured the men into an alley and he reported envies to his team members via telepathy. Matthias assumed that they were the lord's servants, so he cast an invisible spell. Then the group of Matthias became invisible visible and the enemies were confused. Matthias then found out that the men had been spying on his route for a long time. Suddenly, they wanted to take Matthias as a hostage, and Matthias' acting was horrible. Lurie and Alma tried not to laugh about his acting skills, and the enemies said that they know about their group. They thought Matthias was the weakest and could only use healing magic. After that, the bandits threatened the girls and Matthias ordered Iris not to kill the enemies. Following this, Iris approached the opponents and she beat up the bandits with ease. Iris hit them with bare knuckles and the enemies were all defeated in just a moment. After the fight, Matthias used a spell, and he tracked down a demon. The next morning, everyone woke up and Matthias received a letter from the king. Then Matthias and his friends met the royal proxy. He wanted to deliver a message to the king personally at a secret location. So the king ordered Matthias to arrest the lord, and Matthias wanted to do the king's mission immediately. The girls were also ready for the mission, and Matthias reported that he had already caught a few henchmen. After that, Matthias wanted to charge the lord's hiding place. They noticed that there were no guards outside, so Matthias used a spell, and he noticed that the enemies were already waiting for them. The royal proxy wanted to withdraw for the time being, but Matthias decided to attack them all at once. Following this, Matthias entered with the front door, and the arrogant enemies attacked Matthias' group. Luri fended off the attacks with a barrier. Then Matthias attacked with a spell and he defeated all enemies with just one attack. All opponents were unconscious and the royal proxy was impressed by Matthias' enormous power. Matthias then sensed that the lord of the town was hiding in a secret place. Matthias found a secret door under the ground. Meanwhile, the lord thought that the Matthias group had been defeated. Suddenly, Matthias appeared and Dokil underestimated him. However, he thought Matthias is weak and he tried to lure Matthias into a trap. Matthias attacked all enemies and they were instantly defeated. The girls were surprised that Lord Dokil believed the lie all along. Following this, Dokil was arrested by the royal proxy. He refused and he didn't accept his arrest. As a result, Matthias cast a spell that sent him into sleep. After that, Matthias suspected that demons were supporting the Lord Dokil. Matthias sensed the presence of a demon through a scrap of paper. So Luri was concerned and Matthias told them that the demons most likely want to activate the dragon vein in the dungeon. Also, the dragon vein could explode after activation and kill many people. Suddenly, the ground started to shake. The demons affected the dragon vein and Matthias sensed monsters appearing. Matthias said that the monsters will arrive in the city of Melcha in about two hours. Matthias wanted to deactivate the dragon vein. They went into the dungeon and Matthias found the dragon vein. Then Iris dug a hole into the wall and she was able to find an enormous magical power. After finding the dragon vein, Matthias told Luri and the other girls to stop the dragon vein from activating. However, Matthias wanted to defeat the demons in the meantime, so they began their mission to save the city of Melchia and prevent a catastrophe. 
Matthias supported Luri with telepathy, and she tried to do her best. Matthias defeated all the monsters around them. Then he tracked down a demon. The demon was expecting Matthias, and he communicated with another demon. Matthias linked into their conversation and learned that the demon's boss knows about the dangerous power of the dragon veins. Then Matthias attacked the demon, but his attack was blocked. The demon looked down at him, and Matthias noticed that a barrier weakens his attacks. Matthias understood that the barriers were specifically created against users of the Crest of Failure. As a result, the demon attacked Matthias, and he tried to kill Matthias with magical spirit balls. Matthias was able to dodge it with ease. The demon's boss knew that Matthias' crest of failure is the most dangerous crest, so he ordered his henchmen to use range attacks. Matthias was attacked and he created a protective barrier. In time, Luri was worried about Matthias. He was unhurt and wanted to finish the fight. Then the demon tried to lure Matthias into a trap. But Luri disabled the demon's traps. The demon was shocked and Matthias cut off the demon's communication with his boss. However, Matthias began to overwhelm the demon and he launched many strong attacks with his magic power. Matthias was a trickster and he attacked the demon with his sword. He said that the demon fell into his trap and the demon could no longer create a protective barrier. As a result, his boss ordered the demon to transform into his final form, so he attacked Matthias with all his strength, but he had no chance against Matthias. Matthias explained that he was just playing with him, and he showed the true power of the legendary hero Gaius. He then attacked with his sword, and he cut off the demon's arm. The demon got angry, and Matthias killed the enemy with a sword. Below the girls were happy that Matthias had won. After that, the monsters in the city also disappear, and Matthias praised his girls for stopping the dragon veins. Alma and Iris defeated all remaining monsters, and Matthias wanted to track down the boss of the enemy demon. Suddenly, the demon boss was tapping in Matthias' communication spell. He said that Matthias can't track him down, and he noticed that the demon was trying to trick him. Matthias failed to locate his whereabouts, but he threatened the demon that he would find and defeat him. In the evening we see Matthias in the dungeon and he reports to his group the current situation about the demon boss. He said the demon is trying to hide his whereabouts, so he said that they need to use a special device to track down the whereabouts of the demon boss. The girls asked where Matthias got the information about the device. He almost revealed that he built it himself a long time ago but Iris stopped him from revealing his identity as Gaius. They wanted to go back to the capital to ask permission, so they went back to the capital and Iris was still eating. A few days later, they arrived back at the school. They were shocked that the school was being rebuilt. Headmaster Edward then appeared. He greeted Matthias and the girls. Then he said that they are currently increasing the protection of the school buildings to be prepared against demon attacks. Afterwards, Matthias reported that they had to cross the land border of the nation of Rodinia in search of a magic item. Edward said it will be problematic, but he will take care of it and Matthias offered that he will help with the construction of the school until the answer of their permission. Iris was happy, but the others were more worried because she is a little bit clumsy. So they went outside and Matthias studied the construction plan. Iris said that she is Albanian. Suddenly, she stumbled and caused more problems. A few days later, Matthias received the king's permission to cross the country's borders. Next on, they were on their way to a new town. They were looking to find a Matthias magic device. Matthias device is in a restricted location where only high-ranked adventurers can enter. So they had to increase their adventure rank quickly, and Matthias wanted to use Iris Dragon Transformation if they failed to rank up. However, Matthias was received by the Guildmaster, and he was made aware of Matthias. The king of the Ace Kingdom had told him about Matthias, so wanted to support the group in raising their rank. Quickly followed, the Guildmaster immediately allowed Matthias' group to take the A rank exam. Then Matthias and his girls found out that they had to pass a practice fight against a selected examiner. Suddenly, the adventurer Jiloas appeared. He said that he is today's examiner, and the Guildmaster master was surprised. Matthias felt a strong aura caused by Giluas. Then the guild master told that Giluas is an S-rank adventurer. In addition, Matthias learned that he is a battle junkie. The guild master found Gil's unsuitable as an examiner, but Giluas wanted to be the examiner for them. Giluas was a troublemaker, but Matthias wanted to fight against him too. However, all three girls from Matthias' group were told that they all passed the exam. Suddenly, Giluas said that he wanted to challenge the famous hero Matthias to a fight. Matthias accepted his challenge. Then they went into the fighting area, and Jaluas was looking forward to defeating Matthias. The guildmaster told the girls that Jaluas is a combat expert. Then Jaluas said that he will avoid using magic. After that, Matthias sensed that Jaluas was using magic. Despite his announcement, Jaluas used magic unconsciously, and Matthias understood that he didn't know it himself. So the two started their fight and Matthias was attacked. Matthias immediately analyzed his fighting techniques and movements. During the fight, Matthias Gold sensed that Jaluas is activating many different spells. He suspected that Jaluas could use all spells through his instincts. Then Jaluas said that Matthias should show his full power. Jaluas then copied Matthias' technique 
and jumped through the air to increase his speed. Suddenly, Matthias was attacked by Jaluas, and he blocked his opponent's attack with ease. Afterwards, Matthias showed his power, and he defeated Jaluas with just a single attack. Thus, Jaluas was defeated, and he accepted his loss. Matthias won the fight, and Jaluas said that he experienced a loss in a fight for the first time. Then Matthias pulled out a textbook from his item box. He wanted to help Jaluas become stronger, and he gave Jaluas a book about magic as a present, so Jaluas thought spells were useless in battle, and Matthias explained to him that he also used wordless magic in battles that followed. Jaluas thanked Matthias, but reading books was too much for him. After the fight, Matthias befriended Jaluas, and he asked Matthias to become his rank adventure. Matthias replied that he only needs a rank because he wants to explore a restricted area. Suddenly, Jaluas told that the city of Folkiad is behaving suspiciously lately. Jaluas then offered his new friend to call them for help if they have any problems there. Later, Misha's group was checked to the next town, and they were given passes that they had to carry with them. Matthias immediately noticed that a magic code was written in the passes, so the girls found out that the people of the town of Folkiad use magic spells from demons. Matthias suspected that a demon might be controlling the city. Suddenly, Matthias spotted mercenaries, and Matthias wanted to disable the evil mercenaries group. He then gives Luri an all a magic item that puts the enemies to sleep. Then he created an illusion of his two friends. However, Matthias started to lure the opponents into a trap. So Matthias and Iris were attacked by arrows. Iris got angry and wanted to beat up her opponents. Matthias stopped her because she almost screwed up. Their plan to send the enemies into sleep followed. Then Luri activated Matthias' magic item. As a result, all opponents were asleep. Matthias could couldn't see Alma and Luri. Suddenly he saw the two girls sleeping too. Iris wanted to take the chance, and she got a brush to paint Alma's face. Matthias then woke Luri up, and she was embarrassed to have fallen asleep too. After that, Alma woke up and Luri laughed at her painted face. Alma was shocked and Iris said she was innocent. Later we see Matthias' group in front of the town Fokia. Luri could sense demons, and she said that there are 30 enemy demons in the city. Matthias said that the demons are most likely disguising themselves as humans. Luri and Alma were afraid that there were 30 demons in the city, so Matthias replied that the demons are weak. As a result, they fight together as a team. Matthias already had a plan to defeat the demons, so he showed the girls a secret entrance. They then went into the underground of the city Fokia. Suddenly, Luri was frightened by Little Mouse. So Luri apologized and Matthias replied that everything was fine. After that, they moved on and Matthias tracked down an enemy demon nearby. They couldn't go any further, but Matthias used a spell. He could walk through walls like a ghost and he hypnotized the enemy demon with a spell. Iris then wanted to paint the demon's face, but Matthias stopped her silly behavior. After that, we see Mesha's group in Fokia Town Center. The people of the city were walking like zombies. Matthias guessed that he was on the Walking Dead series, so he used a spell and found out that the people are controlled by demons. Later, Mesha's group discovered that the demons turned people into junkies with a magic symbol followed. Matthias creates the fake symbols to fool the demons. Matthias said that Iris should act like a junkie. Suddenly clumsy, Iris stumbled, and a demon immediately appeared. He thought the spell was too strong for her, and Matthias' group was able to successfully sneak into the factory. Then they discovered that the citizens mine a lot of magic stones. Matthias said that the magic stones are dangerous because with the many magic stones, they can cause a huge explosion. Matthias was aware that they haven't collected enough magic stones to destroy a kingdom yet. After that, he came up with a plan to save the humans and defeat the demons further. Matthias looked at a city map to prepare for battle. Then Matthias explained that the senses of the demons are all connected. Luri and Alma were desperate, but Matthias said he had a plan to eliminate them with ease. However, the mission to wipe out the evil demons began. Matthias summoned a huge beam of energy that alerted the demons. The leader of the demi-demons ordered the other demons to locate the magical energy. So all the demons tried to sense the magic power and they took their positions. Suddenly, they were baited by Iris and Matthias attacked the demi-demons from behind. However, all demons were slowly defeated and Matthias managed to wipe out the enemies with ease. The demons were confused and they couldn't repel the attacks from him. Then, sometime before we see Matthias explaining his plan to Luri and Alma, he uses Iris as bait to distract their enemies. Matthias planned that Iris try to lure the demi-demons away from the center. So Iris was frustrated because she had to be the bait again. After that, that, Matthias continued to fight the demons and Iris lured the enemies to her. They were a good team, so they were able to defeat countless demons. Later, Iris continued to lure the demons to her, and the others started secretly attacking them. The demons thought that Iris was acting alone, and nobody knew that she still had friends who secretly supported her from the shadows. The leader of the Demi Demons then wondered how they could be defeated so quickly. He suspected that Mesha's group uses traps. So the demons tried to track down more enemies, but Alma and Luri extinguished their presence. The demons failed to track down the enemies and slowly all died. 
Suddenly, the leader realized how they were able to defeat them. Meanwhile, Mesha's group had already defeated 22 demons. Then the leader looked at a corpse and he noticed two different traces of attacks. The leader of the demi demons then reported to his numbers about their situation. The leader intended to use the magic crystals because he wanted to destroy the entire city. Suddenly, a demon was killed, and the S-rank adventurer Jilloas appeared. The demons thought adventurer Jilloas is the hidden assassin. Matthias felt the aura of his buddy, and he was happy that reinforcements showed up in town. As a result, Matthias was able to sneakily attack the demons from behind without being noticed. Suddenly, the demons wanted to attack Matthias, but Iris threw her spear at the demons. Then Matthias defeated more demons, and he thanked Iris for the great distraction. Meanwhile, Jilloas Jilluas fought the demon's leader, but he was very strong. The demon injured Jilluas, and Matthias asked if he needed some help. Jilluas wanted to keep fighting against the demon. Then the leader of the demi-demons looked down on humans. Subsequently, both fighters increased their physical strength, and they both punched each other. Nobody could overwhelm the opponent, but Matthias believed that his buddy Jilluas could win. Then Jilluas was pushed back, and the demon insulted him. Jilluas got angry, and he showed him a new technique. He could severely injure the demi-demon's leader. Jilluas ran out of strength, and the demon wounded Jilluas with a sword slash. So Jilluas remained stubborn, and he attacked the demon with his last strength. The two fighters were badly injured, but they both wanted to win the fight. Then both fighters unleashed their powers and attacked each other with their swords. Suddenly, the sun came up, and Jilluas managed to win the fight. Matthias congratulated Jilluas on his victory, and he thought the fight was over. Suddenly, the demon's eyes opened just before his death. Suddenly, the demon woke up, and he tried to attack Luria and Alma. Matthias managed to protect the two girls in time. Matthias felt a stronger aura than before, and the demon began to speak. The demon was controlled by a more powerful demon. He used the corpse to send a message to Matthias. Matthias knew that only a special demon possessed the ability to cast such powerful magic. Suddenly, Jaluas asked Matthias for help, so Matthias went to heal him. However, adventurer Jaluas was healed, and he said thanks. Meanwhile, the villagers were freed from the hypnosis spell, and they were all confused. Jaluas said that he handled the situation, so he told about the emergency authorization law. Mesha's group learned that he is now in command of the state on a temporary basis. Jilloas then sought a position of leadership, and he chose a new man to be the new lord of the town. Matthias' group was shocked by Jilloas' decision. Matthias later received the guild-issued permit for entering the Folkia districted area. He thanked Gilloas, and they said goodbye. Matthias then went on a new journey to find his magic device. Arriving in an old ruin, Matthias said he was surprised to find such a great abandoned estate. He didn't say he built it by himself. Then they stood in front of a pyramid and there was no way into the pyramid. Matthias said that throwing magic into the pyramid reveals an entrance, so the pyramid started to levitate and Matthias created a path into the ruins. Luri was impressed by Matthias, and she called him a genius. After that, Matthias decided to jump into the dark hole. The girls jumped. After using body amplification spells, Iris also jumped down and she destroyed the ground. Then they discovered the magic device from Matthias. He wanted to activate the device and said to the girls that they can search for magic items. Alma and Luri were motivated to find treasures. Suddenly, Iris started to look around too because she wanted to find some food. Matthias then activated his device and Luri found an old sword from his previous life. Matthias was concerned because he knew the sword found was useless. He recalled that in his past he had a time period in which he designed weapons that look cool but are actually terribly weak. Following this, Alma found a giant spear, and Matthias explained that it has many flaws that can kill everyone by using it. Alma was shocked and Iris showed up with preserved foods. They were thousands of years old, and Iris fainted. After opening the cans, Matthias then activated the magical device. So the ground started to shake, and Matthias said he wanted to track down the magic power of the demon leader from Melchior. The magic device displayed a lot of data. Luri learned that the demon he was looking for is the most dangerous and the strongest one. Matthias said that he is most likely already planning to wipe out all of humanity, and they can use a magic crystal to find him. Alm remembered the magic crystal they found in the dungeon. As a result, Matthias placed the magic crystal in the magic device. Suddenly, lightning appeared, which overloaded the system. The computer device signaled an alarm and everything glowed red. Matthias learned that the seal of the demon Zardius will be broken soon followed. Matthias said Zardius is stronger than him. At the moment, the girls were worried and they couldn't believe that a demon is supposed to be stronger than Matthias. Also, Matthias said that with an immortal spell, they would be allowed to train for hundreds of years to defeat him. In the meantime, almost all humans would have been wiped out, 
and they would have to rebuild humanity. The girls were afraid, but Matthias had no other plan than to train for hundreds of years. Suddenly, Iris suggested an idea. She had the idea to find a powerful weapon. So Matthias planned to find a legendary sword that he built in his previous life. As a result, he found his old sword in the royal chamber. Meanwhile, the demon Zardius gained his freedom. Later, Matthias gave Alma and Luri crystals that had the ability to detect a sword. Suddenly, they felt the powerful aura of Zardius. Matthias said that they need to find the legendary sword quickly. Matthias wanted to stop Zardius and try not to die in the fight. Before they arrived in the capital, Luri said that they would bring the sword to him. Matthias trusted his friends and they started their plan. Following this, Luri and Alma wanted to break into the royal chamber and they connect when they saw the barrier. The two girls were able to successfully go through the barrier. In the meantime, Matthias prepared his attack. He strengthened his sword and told Iris that he wanted to use an attack to prevent the demon space spells. Matthias wasn't sure if his plan would be successful, but he hoped to buy enough time. Then we see Alma and Luri running to the royal palace. Alma was unsure if they could break into the royal chamber. Luri cheered them up and said they could do it. Then they jumped on a house and she felt a demon's aura. Matthias immediately attacked Zardius' spell, but the spell was too strong. Matthias couldn't stop Zardius from teleporting, and Zardius appeared. Everyone looked at the sky, and Matthias told Iris to attack Zardius with her breath of fire. As a result, Iris prepared a powerful fire spell, and Matthias told her to flee. Immediately after the attack, Iris attacked Zardius with full power, and she caused a huge explosion. The residents were scared, and the two girls immediately ran to the royal palace. Zardius wasn't defeated, and he looked down on Matthias. Then he threatened Matthias, and said that he will kill him with ease. Zardius then took out his sword from an item box. Matthias tried to attack first, but Zardius countered with a sword slash. So Zardius' sword flew towards Iris, but Matthias deflected the attack with several barriers. Zardius then launched an attack on Matthias, and he noticed that Matthias is weaker than his previous life. As Gaius at the royal palace, Luri and Alma asked the guards to let them enter the royal chamber. He refused, and he called more guards for backup. Suddenly, the king appeared, and Luri told him about the demon Zardius. The king gave them both access to the royal chamber, and they thanked him. Meanwhile, Matthias fended off Zardius' strong attacks. Matthias didn't get a chance to attack, and he was badly injured. Zardius expected more from Matthias and Iris managed to catch the injured Matthias. Matthias kept trying to buy time, but he was aware of their power gap. Zardius was disappointed that Matthias is a weak little boy. Suddenly, Matthias decided to sacrifice his life to defeat Zardius because he wanted to save all his friends. Then we see Luri and Alma looking for the magic weapon. After that, the magic stone of Luri glowed and they discovered the legendary sword of Gaius. They immediately rushed to bring the sword to Matthias, who was fighting against Zardius. The demon leader knew that Matthias was buying time for something, so he attacked the barrier, and Matthias was distracted. In their fight, Zardius used his weakness to overwhelm Matthias, and he intended to destroy the barrier of the kingdom. Then Matthias suddenly realized that Zardius could revive. Dead demons followed. A defeated demon appeared that tried to attack Luri. Alma shot arrows and she was able to lure the demon into her trap. The arrows hit the demon and Luri managed to slash the demon. Then another demon appeared. He threatened to hand over the magic weapon that they were using. In addition, he had captured students as hostages, whom he intended to kill. Luri and Alma were in trouble. Also, Matthias was shocked that Zardius had revived the dead demons. Then Zardius tried to destroy the barrier again. Zardius was only faking because he was actually aiming at Iris. Matthias barely had time to protect himself and he was cornered. The demon laughed at Matthias for protecting weak people. Meanwhile, the hostages said they were ready to die, but the two girls decided to hand over their weapons. Matthias hoped that Luri and Alma could bring in his sword in time. Then Matthias had no more strength. He considered giving up the fight. He he also considered using another reincarnation spell to defeat the demon in his next life. Unfortunately, he recalled the memories of their friends who were trusting him with their life. As a result, Matthias decided to sacrifice his life, and he continued attacking Zardius. Meanwhile, Edward and the other students showed up for support. They managed to overwhelm the evil demon, so Ulm got a chance to attack the demon with her arrows. After that, the other students tied the demon up. Then we see Matthias converting part of his life energy into magical power so he could keep fighting the demon. And he trusted Alma and Luri, who wanted to bring him the sword, so he attacked together with Iris, but her attack was stopped. Iris fell to the ground, and she said that Alma and Luri should throw the sword to Matthias immediately. When Matthias received the sword, 
sword, he was killed by a demon. Zardius and his friends were shocked. Matthias was slashed, and the girls couldn't believe that Matthias, their last hope, was dead. Luri was crying, and she was screaming his name. Suddenly, the legendary sword glowed up, and Matthias was instantly healed. Matthias said his sword is activated by his death. Matthias was happy to receive his masterpiece because the sword gives him a huge amount of magic that has an effect like steroids. Matthias got faster and stronger, so the demon was shocked. Zardius didn't want to accept that a human could overwhelm him. As a result, Matthias said that he is the strongest hero with the crest of failure. Then he attacked the demon and he defeated Zardius with a strong sword blow. Before Zardius died, he told Matthias that there are several chaos demons that are just as strong. Matthias won the fight and Luri was happy that Matthias was alive. Matthias blushed and his injuries started bleeding. Headmaster Edward also showed up. He congratulated Matthias for his victory. Also he said no one was hurt and they just need to repair some buildings. After that, Matthias said that the legendary sword still has magic left and he needs to use it up. So he swung his sword and he caused huge damage. Everyone was greatly surprised when he used up the closing magic at the sword. The subsequent morning, Matthias got geared up for the day and the women wanted to look at Matthias. However, Matthias opened the door and they said to Matthias, exact morning. After that, they went together to meet up with the king and he desired to offer Matthias a reward. Matthias desired to maintain dwelling in his adventurer's life and he became happy that the king didn't need the sword lower back, because it's vain now. Then Alma needed plenty of treasures as a reward, and Luri was embarrassed via Alma also. Iris only wished for delicious food. Later, Matthias and his friends looked around the royal chamber. Matthias didn't find anything useful, and Iris said she wasn't interested either. Then Iris realized that an arrow was stuck in her head, and Matthias recalled the memories of his old bow, so he planned to give Alma with his old bow. Matthias learned that they took the rusted bow to a trading house. Matthias and his friends thought the strong bow had already melted down. Then the vendor said he remembered approximately the bow. Suddenly he confirmed them a block of metallic and Matthias desired to shop for it immediately. He intended to make a bow for Alma. After that, Iris discovered a large crystal, and he or she requested Matthias to shop for it for her as a souvenir, so he sold the massive crystal for Iris as a present. Then Alma said that Luri turned into looking at something interesting. Alma gave him the advice to create some jewelry with the crystal. After their shopping trip, Principal Edward stated that they've a hassle. The chief of the knights showed him a wooden puppet and said that soon 300 wooden puppets will attack the Dominion. Matthias then analyzed the timber puppet and he found out that the puppets had human-like electricity. They suspected that the Kingdom of Sil became managed through demons. So Matthias is given a brand new mission. In the night, Matthias desired to overwhelm his self-made jewelry. So Luri closed her eyes and she acquired a magic necklace from Matthias. She loved the gift from Matthias and she thanked him.